Hi there and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Now today really is kind of a continuation of part one so I won't officially call this part two. So as I mentioned in part one towards the end it was a case of doing some testing of the track that I'd laid and also testing the point motors and obviously the DCC. So basically this last week I have spent battling the electrical side to this upper level or raised level of the goods yard and as I've mentioned and I'll reinforce this again I am absolutely terrible at figuring out wiring and electronics for some reason it just eludes me and I can't really wrap my head around it but I have succeeded and we finally have this new section of raised goods yard and the entry points into the yard all operating and operating beautifully so I guess with a little bit of perseverance and just keeping at it eventually it comes right so there's an absolute jungle of wiring just related to this particular build and some of the things I encountered for example the connect points and the associated CDU decoder modules I sort of thought that maybe on some situations I could pair these up and have two points operating off them particularly the ones that are crossovers now no matter what I did and different methods that I took to try and tackle this challenge I just couldn't get it to work so in one situation I just ended up putting in two individual CDUs for each point and then in another location what I did is I split out the frog power into its own separate relay switch so there seems to be an issue where you can't really seem to pair these two together because they actually I think possibly give each other feedback between their circuit boards and I think it may cause a glitch now my understanding is this could potentially be solved with some diodes added into the circuitry but looking down that route it just made me even more confused than ever so what I ended up doing in the end is two of the switches on the control panel rather than using double throw single pole switches I actually use double throw double pole switches so for those sets of points where there are crossovers which they will actually fire at the same time they would need to fire at the same time they are now technically on separate switches even though that the switch is controlled with both sets of points and by doing that and isolating out those into separate switch circuits it seemed to solve the problem so of course once I'd actually sorted all of that out and like I said it took me basically an entire week to figure all that out it was then a case of testing the trains and seeing how they run so in this situation I thought probably the most common locomotives that I'll be operating in this area of course will be small shunting locomotives so I dug out two of my class 08 shunters which I hadn't run in quite a long time so they needed a bit of a running in and a warming up and I set them to do various movements on this new track work and we'll head over to that now and you can take a look and see how they all operated
So there we have it. Everything is working perfectly and exactly as it should. So I can actually breathe a sigh of relief now. I'm quite happy that I've managed to get to this point and everything's working. So one of the thoughts that I'd raised in part one was in regard to the cattle dock and I did catch one comment from the previous video about whether the cattle dock is actually an abandoned cattle dock and that instantly sort of made me think well when did the cattle docks actually stop being used in the UK and as far as I can tell it seems that in the early 60s a lot of them were still in operation maybe not as much as they used to be and then obviously maybe it was part of the beaching cuts as well that the cattle docks were culled from and pardon the pun on that from over 2,000 cattle docks spread around the country to only about 200 so they continued to be used and some cattle docks did get used right up until the mid 70s so I was actually really quite surprised about that so based on that I'm going to keep the cattle dock but I'm going to make it look pretty run down and pretty worn out and pretty unused so I thought I'd just take this opportunity actually to thank everyone who left their feedback and comments in the previous video I've only skim read through some of the comments and unfortunately I haven't actually responded to anyone yet I have just been so bogged down in this wiring dilemma that I had that I just haven't really had a chance to sort of get back and see what everyone has written and also start responding to people as well so I will get on to that hopefully over the next week or two so I'll leave it there for this video and officially the next video will be part two so do take care look after yourselves and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time bye for now